He was given 2 million shillings to deliver to ECU. And he disappeared with the money. <laughs> yeah? So, he, 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 uh, there is this story of this guy. <laughs> I don't know if I should laugh or not laugh. Hmm. 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 So, this Buddha guy was given uh, 2 million shillings in cash. Yes, 2 million shillings in cash to deliver to ECU. He was given 2 million shillings to deliver to ECU. And he disappeared with the money. <laughs> yeah? So... He, 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 uh, his name is Dennis Nyamongo. Actually, if you go online, there are people are putting the photos of him. In case you see him, just report to the relevant authorities because this guy was given two million shillings. Hey, Two million, eh? Ini pesa i. Two million. Cash, cash. Mimi, eh? Nipeleke isili. The guy just moved away with it easily. <laughs> okay, this is not a good thing. It's not a good thing. It's a bad thing. But now questions come in. Two million in cash. Why? Why couldn't they just... How would you entrust two million in cash to someone? Even if it's my son, I wouldn't entrust them two million to take me to someone else in cash. What if, what if, even if the border is not, what if somebody else, if somebody else came in, there was a mid person who knew what he was transporting and even grabbed him away or stole the money. It's too, I think it's too risky to just put 2 million shillings and give somebody in cash on a border to take to somewhere. Even if it's not a matter of integrity of the border border, uh, what if somebody else chose to steal from the guy on that day? I think it's too risky. To just take two million shillings and give a border border guy. Disclaimer: I'm not supporting his behavior of uh, getting away with the money, but I'm saying two million shillings is way too much money to just give to somebody to deliver. I think there are better ways of doing that. You can just put it in an M-Pesa and send the money, or just transfer it on wire it to the bank or something. Unless it's illegal money also. Because why would you give two million to a Buddha Buddha guy? So Dennis Nyamogo walked away with two million. So he's now a millionaire. If he really walked away with the money, he's now a millionaire. Uh, although the way he became a millionaire is by stealing, which is a bad thing. Because we have a good system that will uh, get hold of him and put him behind bars. But still, guys, let's not take chances. This is Nairobi. Why would you take two million and give a Buddha Buddha guy? To deliver. One, the Boda Boda guy could be not integral and, and uh, walk away with the money. Two, somebody could have known, like, let's say I'm going to give you two million shillings. And then somebody else knows it. So then he comes in between, nyongolo papa, kidogo kidogo two weeks later, tunaskia the border guy was found dead in Kinango. Or in, I don't know which forest. So let's not even also put people's life onto risk because away from just the integrity of people, now you're putting somebody's life into risk because if somebody else knew that you had that money and wanted to steal, uh, you're just risking this innocent life in here, which didn't have any idea or even know that they had two million shillings. You all have seen the video of the guy at Indri Sambu who just came, uh, opened a car and shot the guy to death. So what if this somebody would be not seeing your uh, trades and then just came in and shot the guy and took the money? Yeah, I think that's not okay. And that wraps up our day today on what's kicking. But before you go, before you go, we have to update your playlist because we have and know the best music that's out.